better get that fall, Thran. Or you lose. Please don't have another Steve. Steve? Shotgun to the face. And alright. Got him. Fucking Steve, dude. That's the fourth Steve of the game. YouTube. Yes! YouTube. Yes! We had some fun games. It definitely needs work. We, I think we need more proliferation or more reliable ways to get as foretold onto the battlefield. But I think it is a great card. Um, so... As foretold, it's a three mana enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a time counter on as foretold. Once each turn, you may pay zero colorless rather than pay the mana cost for a spell you cast with converted mana cost X or less, where X is the number of time counters on as foretold. Amazing. This alone is amazing. If you can get high counters on it, you can cast very expensive spells for free or whatever you can cast cheaper stuff for free and then cast expensive stuff with the mana that you have be very good we have fae of wishes which unlocks our sideboard we have mace mind tome which is an amazing jank enabler it's like jank glue uh it's two colorless artifact you can tap put a page counter on it scry one you could pay two tap put a page counter on it and draw a card uh, when there are four more page counters on it exile it and gain four life amazing Great card, highly recommend it. Almost every deck. Uh, we have four Mind Stones and four Hedron's Archives for ramp. Uh, Mind Stone, it taps to add for one colorless, and Archive taps to add for two colorless. Uh, Mind Stone, you can pay one tap sack to draw one card, and uh, the Archive, you can pay two tap sack to draw two cards. So it's basically the same thing, just double the cost, double the effect. Um, then we have... Uh, Shadow of the Sky and Wrath of God for our board wipes. Shadow of the Sky is great, especially when we have Zatalpa out because it will draw us a card. So Shadow of the Sky, each player who controls a creature with power 4 or greater draws a card, then destroy all creatures. Then we have Wrath of God, which is just 4 mana, destroy all creatures. Great card. Uh, then we have 4 Drawn from Dreams, which I really like, but we may have to cut down. Um, it's look at the top seven cards of your library, put two of them into your hand and the rest at the bottom of your library in a random order. This is a fantastic card. I really, really, really like it. Um, but I feel like sometimes it's a little bit too slow when you don't have a ton of mana out. And that's why I think we need more ways to either delay the game until As Foretold rolls up or more reliable ways to get As Foretold into your hand or on the battlefield. Either way. Um... Then we have Fall of the Thran, which is just when it comes into play, destroy all lands. And then the next two turns, each player returns two land cards from their graveyard to the battlefield. Um, now, essentially, what we want to do with Bay of Wishes, we look in our sideboard and we get a Tormod's Crypt, which it costs zero. And then you can tap and sack it, exile all cards from all players' libraries, or target players' libraries. So you basically exile all their lands after you destroy them all. It's great. Uh, then we have two Zatalpas for like a big, big threat later on in the game. It's an 8 mana, 4-8. Uh, it's just flying, double strike, vigilance, trample, indestructible. Amazing, amazing card. Uh, it's very expensive for what it does, but it's still very good. Uh, we have two Heliod's Intervention. This is X double white, destroy X target artifacts or enchantments, or a target player gains twice X life. Uh, this is very good because there's a lot of enchantments in every single meta, Enchantments and artifacts, um, and then a lot of times you just need to gain some life. Uh, so it's a very, very good card. Uh, then, of course, we just have a bunch of lands. We have a couple Arch of Arascas to draw some extra cards. We have a couple Blast Zones. Uh, this is just additional removal. Um, and then we also have Secluded Step and uh, Lonely Sandbar for cycling lands. So we can just draw a card if we need to. If we don't need the land, we can just cycle it to draw a card. And we also have Castle Vantress to scry two if we need to. Uh, then for the rest of the sideboard, we have Ruined Halo. 
uh, which is just an enchantment when it enters the battlefield, choose a card name. You have protection from the chosen card name. Pretty amazing. Uh, we have clear the mind. This is just to replenish our library, shuffle all of the cards in the graveyard into the library. It's great. Gideon's Intervention, really fun card. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, choose a card name. Opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you and permanent to control by sources with the chosen name. So this is good if it's already on the battlefield. It can't really do anything, which is great. We do have Languish, which we need to remove uh, and put in something else like, I don't know, whatever. Uh, cage. We do need to put in a cage. Okay, so Gravedigger's Cage, one mana. Creature cards and graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Players can't cast spells from graveyards and libraries. This is a great card. Um, Cleansing Nova. Whoa. Excuse me. All right. Cleansing Nova. Five mana, destroy all creatures or destroy all artifacts and enchantments. We will rarely use the destroy all artifacts and enchantments because we do need those a lot more. Um... We also have Elspeth Conqueror's Death, which when it comes in, exile target permanent and opponent controls with converted mana cost three or greater. The next turn, non-creature spells your opponent's control, or non-creature spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast, which is great. Return target creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter or a loyalty counter on it, which... We don't really have any creatures outside of Zatalpa and Fae of Wishes, so we're not really going to get any benefit out of that. We don't really have any Planeswalkers outside of Ugin, so again, we're not really going to get any value out of that outside of the direct removal. We do have another Fall of the Thrand in sideboard, just in case. Uh, we also have an Hour of Revelation, which is good. It's like a planar cleansing, but better. Six mana. This spell costs three colorless less. If there are 10 or more non-land permanents on the battlefield, destroy all non-land permanents. Uh, also, a God Pharaoh statue, which I really like this card more and more as time goes on. Spells your opponent's cast costs two more to cast. Amazing. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses one life. Also amazing. Um, and then we have the Immortal Sun, um, which is players can't activate Planeswire, Planeswire, Planeswalker loyalty abilities. At the beginning of your draw step, draw an extra card. Spells you cast cost one colorless less to cast, and creatures you control get plus one, plus one. It's just a very good card. Uh, then we have an approach of the second sun, seven mana. If this spell was cast from your hand, and you've cast another spell named approach of the second sun this game, you win the game. Otherwise, put approach of the second sun into its owner's hand, or into its owner's library, seventh from the top, and you gain seven life. Which is really good. Um, then we have QR Best Sea Gods, which is a fantastic card. I love it a lot. Seven mana. When it comes into play, create an 8 8 blue Kraken creature token with hexproof. Beautiful. Uh, second turn, tap all non land permanents. Target opponent controls. They don't untap during their controller's untap step. Then the third is gain control of target permanent and opponent controls untap it. Amazing. Uh, then we have Overwhelming Splendor, which we do use quite a lot, actually. Um, creatures Enchanted Player controls lose all abilities, have the base power and toughness of 1-1. Enchanted Player can't activate abilities that aren't mana or loyalty abilities. This is like an insane card. This and Immortal Sun has just so much synergy. It's a little bit ridiculous. And then, of course, we have Ugin, a colorless Planeswalker, 7 loyalty, has a plus 2. Deals 3 damage to any target. Has a minus X to where you exile each permanent with converted mana cost X or less. That's 1 or more colors. Then there's a minus 10. You gain 7 life, draw 7 cards, then put up to 7 permanent cards from your hand onto the battlefield. Overall amazing Planeswalker, but we never really get the chance to use him. So, you gotta keep that in mind too. Uh, overall, the deck wasn't that great. It definitely needs a lot of tweaking. I personally don't really like the Mind Stone and... Um, and the Hedron's Archives, I I don't really like. The colorless mana just kind of messes with you, and taking the turns off to, to ramp, like in that way, just seems a little bleh. Um, and, and I feel that like we just need more threats uh, other than just Sultapa. I think having a Planeswalker in here would be more ideal as well. Um, so maybe five mana, um, or maybe one of the new Gideons. 
one of the new Gideon, that may be a possibility, but not sure. If you end up building this deck, let me know. If you improve it, put it in the comment section below. I would love to see the deck list. If you want the current deck list, it is in the description below. And if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash striderstone. I stream six days a week, 666, every day except Thursday, unless there's a new set out, and then I do a bonus day. Um, and then, of course, YouTube videos seven days a week. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, bell notification, just so you get notified every single day when a video comes out. See you at the end of the video. I feel like we definitely need win cons in main. We need to have threats on the board. We need to have threats on the board before we follow Thran. Bring in Settle. It's not the answer. Proliferate. Yeah, that's that's what we had before. Yeah, we were going in green. It was it was fun, but seems like quite the overextension opponent. Okay. Evo Sage plus Scape Shift. Yeah. What do we get here? This can get a Tor Mods. Six. Uh, and then we take seven. This is a lot of damage that we take. Um, like two. So we have to bring back two white sources. So we have to shock in that land. Fortunately. Unfortunately, we had to shock in that land. Oh. <sighs> Copying a card will not copy with counters. For example, you copy a Stone Coil Serpent, yeah, it'll die. When he wipes, yeah, we do need more wipes. Hard stuck? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, X spells are bad. Okay. We were called a racist today? Good. Did you learn your lesson? Is 
Nope. All right. Tried. Huh. All right. Huh. And someone was wearing a shirt that said BLM. And had a list of like 50 people that died. That's why they were wearing it. No. I didn't have my ley line down. I am an idiot. What up, yo, Vivo? How you doing? Um, and let's get Kyorvas the Sea Gods, and uh, let's get. Follow the Thran. Yeah. Why not? Because you told them Arab lives matter because you're Arabic? Nice. Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. It is fucked up Friday, and I may or may not be a tad bit fucked up. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Got him. Subject is changed. Go boat. Subject is changed. All right, so we destroyed all the lands. We can block the Sun Mare and our 8-8 is indestructible. Is that a surrender? Fuck knows. Doesn't look like it. Easy. Do a Bob Ross painting. While you play while fucked up. New challenge. That's not a good idea. Sounds like a horrible idea. I could have, yeah. All right, we have Zatalpi. Even Min Sensor? What is that? Look, they have to have something, right? Have a cancel. Fucking cancel or some shit. An opponent would search the library, that player would... Oh, yeah, 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 the thing that they just played against me. That was fucking hilarious. Ah, I see. Two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Just say, opponents can. 
Prevent all damage that would be dealt. Okay. So that doesn't help. It's the only thing that works. Unless they can flip it right now. Which I don't believe... Well, I mean, they could get, what, an opt and a land? And then opt again? No, they can't flip it. They can't flip it. They don't have enough land to flip it. Could get crypt. You're right. I should've just did that. Yeah, it's free. I could have actually Zatulpa there, by the way. Or no, I only had seven. Just kidding. Yeah, I have seven. Okay. One more. One more mana and we can Zatulpa. And that's a big girl. That's a big girl. Hmm. They're definitely looking for something that we don't want them to have. <laughs> That's all I could say. I don't know what they have. Oh yeah. It is true. <sighs> Crap, we can't follow Thran. And bring that back. Preventive ley line. I don't think I need it. Don't think I need it. I think we're good with one more turn, maybe. Maybe? They saw the Zatalpa coming. Big Mama Zatalpa. Big Mama Zatalpa. Okay. So hopefully they don't make us discard. If they if they have a Steven. Swear to God. All right, no Steven yet. Reanimator deck, I don't like this either. I don't like it one bit. Joke or two, sacrifice it. Streebird, hand or library, name Godfair's gift, put it onto the battlefield. So they could just do that.
Not doing what I want him to do. So, I mean, they're just gonna reanimate shit. I don't know what they're reanimating yet, but I don't like it. Can't get gift until they have six creatures in the graveyard. They have that now. Wait, you were, when it dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step? <sighs> Shit. Um. I have to do this, unfortunately. Okay. I hold up mana to hell yeah, the gift. Is it that big of an issue that I can't wait one turn? It's basically next turn I have to wrath in Heliod. I have no idea how bad this is. Confusion of the highest order. Oh, and it gains haste. That's why. Oh, it's just a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> just a 4-4. Four, four. that oh did i not count that right motherfuck i thought i still had four I thought i still had four still dead on board wait am i just sub haste Yeah, I got fucking jebated. Fucking jebated. <sighs> Not even if you destroy, they can tutor it out at the graveyard at the gate. Afterlife, gonna kill him fast.
four, and then one, two. Uh, okay. And what do we get? Do we do we just get Ugin now? Approach of the second sun. Power of Revelation. Tormod? That's true. You're right. You're right. They can just draw infinity cards there, though. So they have lots of lives. Luckily, they're tapped out now. Hmm. I mean... <laughs> so I just blow everything up? Do it. Splendor? What is Splendor? Oh. Oh, yeah. But we don't have the mana for it. All right, we did it. Did the thing. So. Yeah, I really think the only thing we can do is run this in an 80 card deck. Well, that's not good. Reign of Revelation. Draw out the three cards, then discard a card. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Instant speed, yeah. See. Nice. Are we gonna get slapped by a grazer? It's not good. I'm gonna let them overextend a little bit. I suppose letting them ramp is not healthy. If they have more mutates, that is. Okay, doesn't seem like they did. All right, that's good. Uh. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
And so what are we fave for here? Fave for that sun thingamajig? The everything is everything are one ones. Lose all abilities. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we wish for. Yep. Overwhelming Splendor, that card. Yes, mine stone. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is still a problem. Quiz, welcome to Sodium City. Thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Now I think we actually have to scry. Sweet, that animation is fucking awesome. Okay. Now. I still think we're okay. I love the animation. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Oh. Oh, poor Zatopa. Wait. Oh. Me and I thought I could do it. Thought I could still do it. Um. Not what I wanted to grab. That's fine. We already have one. It's not what I wanted to grab. I meant to get a thing. Elspeth conquers death. Clicked on the wrong saga. Don't worry about it. All hope is lost. All hope is lost. Yep. Hope is lost. Mm-hmm. Turns out Drawn from Dreams is an excellent, excellent card. Yeah, we're just not getting as foretold as, as frequently as I thought we should. Yeah, cure our best of sea gods is almost always a good choice. But as foretold is going to be amazing with the Sunbirds deck. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Fucking Steve. My is Guess I never knew the name of that card. Oh, Drawn from Dreams? Yeah.
We will take a backup blast zone. These don't have another Steve. Okay, no more Steve. Hey, is this five color? Red, white, black, blue? Just missing green. Okay. Fucking Steve, god damn it. It sucks because that will kill my... <sighs> I think I cycle this and draw a card with Tome. God damn. How many Steves do you got, bitch? God damn. I mean, we don't really care about that card, but regardless... Yeah, we're going to draw two more. Yeah, we're going to draw one more. <laughs> All of my thoughts. Okay. Let's get rid of that fucking Narset. Let's try to resolve this. Okay, we resolve it. They flip their Ascanta, which is very bad. It's actually super duper bad. Uh, we don't have a way to kill that. Which again is super duper bad. So this is that one card. Approach of the second sun, right? That's what this deck is? It's approach. That's not good. Huh. Two, six. Well, we're pretty far away from casting Zatalpa. And all manners. This fucking sucks. I got rid of three of our wraths? Yeah, that's bad. Do we get a Wrath? Not. God damn. Oh, that's brutal. So they get to flip their bolus. Let's see. 
six, seven. Um. Yeah, so that's bad. Please don't get another Steve. God damn it. Okay. All right. Shut up, John. Don't encourage them. <laughs> don't, don't you encourage them. All right, so they get my Zatalpa. They can transform their fucking Nicol Bolas and then turn into it. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna have to scry on our upkeep. So we need one, two, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. See, so yeah, we're gonna need a land. Uh, because we have to get a shatter for that. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. And do that. Do we do Elspeth Conqueror's death? Yes. Yes, we do. Actually, we do. And if this somehow sticks... If this somehow sticks, we can get back our Zatalpa. Which is kind of cool. That's very much not cool, because they get to reanimate the fucking Elspeth quicker. Yeah, that's rough. It's pretty good. We like it. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Did I play a land this turn? Crap, I don't know. All right, whatever. Your Zotapa versus mine. Your Zotapa versus mine. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> yeah, so he's got to transform it, right? And he's got to bring back my my Zatalpa. There's no other answer. What's going on, Shin? How you doing? I mean, the opponent is in quite the pickle. Why be a beast when I can be a god? Okay.
Yeah, I'll take three damage. Yeah. You didn't think of my graveyard? Maybe. Maybe. Damn. So close to casting that. So close to fucking casting that. All right, what do you got, opponent? Who are you to call me mad? One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't have the mana? Yeah. Okay. Does have the mana. Sith you in one land short? I don't know. In exchange for eternal service. Auto tapper leaving a blast zone? Yeah. Blast zone is bay. You're gonna have to do something with that nickel bolus. I don't know what it is yet, but you're gonna have to do something with it. Yeah, opponent's not in a good position, to say the least. Mm-hmm. Yep. So he does kill the Fey of Wishes. Let's, uh... Let's draw a couple cards. Just bring it back. Yeah. We'll do it. Picking Heliod for life. And you're free to Thran. Yeah. We can get it from Fae of Wishes as well. But... It kind of depends on what they put down here. The fact that they just shocked that into play kind of worries me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven mana. Yeah, Zatulpa's... Zatulpa's a big girl. He likes Zatulpi. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this is going to be great. They got a fucking Steve. They got a goddamn Steve, chat. You better get that fall of Thran. Or you lose.
Please don't have another Steve. Steve? Shotgun to the face. And alright. Got him. Fucking Steve, dude. This is the fourth Steve of the game. Sides are hurting too much laughing. Why are you laughing? It's not the visual I needed. How far are you behind? You're fine. You're fine. I think he has a second beard, Kappa. You brewed around Nyx Bloom Agent yet? No, I don't think I've ever done Nyx Bloom Agent. They thought about that a lot and they really wanted to get rid of my ramp, which is kind of worrisome. I haven't decided if I want to do something with this. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So now I just need to find a land. Or they have to get this out of my hand. Got it. Oh, that's hilarious. But we need a land. We need a land. I, uh, meant to scry. Meant to scry first, chat. Alright, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And no longer are my shorts squishing my balls. So it's a win-win. So that game was a win-win. Something everyone can enjoy. Oh, you're fine, Trivik. Shut up. <laughs> mob, mob Dreasure? Drazar? Hi. Uh, I already don't like whatever you're doing right here, opponent. Can you just not do whatever you're doing? Be great. Gonna like always get God Pharaoh statue. I feel like that's always the move. I just feel that that's always the move. You know what I'm saying? That's nice. It's pretty nice.
Okay. It's that deck. Nice. Got him. Ha! <laughs> Got him! Does anyone get that attack? Did I miss something? No, I didn't. I didn't. I did not miss. I did not miss anything. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. I thought there was a play. Yo, what up, YouTube? Yeah, we going here, Strider? <laughs> Come on. You didn't really think that I was that type of person, did you? Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you were even a little bit entertained by this video, please make sure to let me know down below. And if you have anything that you would like to see next, go ahead and leave that there too. And make sure to check out my live stream five days a week, every day except Sunday and Thursday. Stream times down below.